Hi and welcome to High on Coding. I'm your host, Mohamed Azam. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple CAPTCHA control or extension HTML helper uh, using the ASP.NET MVC framework. So I'm uh, building my blog using uh, MongoDB. As you can see, it says Azam Sharp no SQL blog. And let me show you. So here's the comment page. So whenever you add a comment, you need to, you know, enter the true value of the CAPTCHA. So it can be, it's imageless, so there will be no image for the CAPTCHA control. Uh, I'm planning to do something like uh, what is 2 plus 2 or what is 4 plus 5 or some random things, okay? And then when you add a comment, when you press a button, it should validate that if the user input value is true or not. So, um, uh, let's see, this is a page, add comments, and you can actually see that there is a html.captcha extension method that I, I have already created. Let's go over there. Um, so let's take an ID and simply it's returning uh, empty. So it doesn't really do anything. So let's go ahead and build it. It's very simple to build a control, uh, a capture control, which is imageless. It doesn't really require that much. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to ask that, hey, what is the question? So what is, and then you can say this plus this. The disclaimer of this video is that it, it will not, you know, it will not affect or it will not restrict all the spammers from posting on your website. But I have experience that it will uh, restrict 99% of the people posting spam. Okay, that that's just that's just my opinion, and that is what I have experienced. String dot format, and I'm going to do a form formatting of this, and so you need to create some sort of a random numbers. Okay, I mean you can also do two plus two or any constant over here, like 3 plus 3, 2 plus 2. But it's nice to give something random, okay? So what I'm going to say over here, just going to say random.next and generate me a random number between, uh, like, from 0 and 10, I guess. And random.next. So it's going to generate it, and it's going to insert it over here. Now if I return sb, which is a string builder dot two string. Let's compile that. And let's go over here and refresh it so that we can see how it will look like on the page. There we go. So what is 3 plus 1? Now if you refresh it, it will of course generate some other numbers. So 4 plus 4. If I refresh it again, you can say, I don't know, 5 plus 8. So it's randomly generated okay but it's just a label what you need is a text box where the user will actually type the value right so I'm just gonna say input type um, text and uh, you have to provide the name so I'm just gonna hard code it over here it's gonna say captcha text box and uh, that's pretty much a thing it and you can format it I'm not formatting it uh, you can apply styles on it, you know, different things. So here we go. Now we have a text box and we have the label that is displaying it. So 8, 9, 11, 12, 13. So the answer should be 13 and add comment. But now there's a problem because we need to send this value back to the server for validation along with the answer or the result that the user will type. We also need to send 5 and 8 back. Okay. So what do you do? This is where hidden fields are just awesome, right? So I'm just going to say string dot format, and you will create a hidden field input type hidden. And what you will do is add the name. So you can put up any name that you want. I'm just going to say first number. Okay. And then what? value equal to this. 
the thing should be first number. Now this is a first number which is a random so it's a much better idea to do something like this like first number equal to random dot next and you can say 10 over here var second number equal to random dot next pass in 10 over here you get the idea right so that you can get hold of the value replace this with first number replace this with second number so the first number will be over here and the second number let's call it second number and pass in the second number okay so now we have two hidden fields and we have a label and we have a text box so when the when the form is submitted the value of the hidden field is also transferred which means that we can access the value using the name of the hidden field which is the first number and the name of the second hidden field which is the second number let's refresh it of course the hidden field won't be displayed over here you will just see the label and the text box but you can say view source and go down and you will see hidden field first number value is 7 I think I have to close it out and then value is 4 let me go and close I don't think I'm closing it so here we go okay so now the question is okay so we post the form back how do we get the value so you can get the value from the risk uh, the request okay and this is the function that is fired which is uh, validate it's going to get the current context and then context.request.form it's going to get the first number because I'm using the same name if I go over here you can see the name of the hidden field is first number and the second number and then the text box and then I can of course do a parse integer value that when you plus these two value first number and second number should be equal to the user input whatever the user actually types in text box so it's pretty cool it I mean you know it once again it, it will block around 99% of the spam and it's pretty easy to make you can actually see I mean if you refresh it it will be changed to a different value and if you just want to go really crazy what you can do is you can create like large random numbers when you create large random numbers so users will actually have to you know calculate and enter but I mean if someone wants to take you down if someone wants to take your website down what is what are they going to do is just search for the hidden field with that name and then enter the value which will be the addition of the first hidden field and second hidden field um, in that case if you have a large highly traffic website this might not be a very good solution um, but for our websites I, I mean website that get like hundred thousand views page views um, a month yeah, I think it's a fine solution in the next video in the next screencast I'm going to show you how you can do the image okay one last thing to remember always 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 go to high on coding for anything I just updated this article also so if you like reading you can uh, read upon this and uh, you can also download the source codes at the end now high on coding we don't charge anything for, and you can actually see there's a lot of material it takes a lot of time and I will willing to make more videos and I am actually making more videos but we need donations so if you can donate maybe like two dollar monthly five dollar monthly ten dollar monthly or just donate a one-time donation it will really mean a lot for us uh, I can just get a cup of coffee and you know uh, up all night and do uh, making more videos if that suits so that's pretty much it I hope you like this video and I hope this uh, small uh, image uh, imageless capture control helps you in your MVC application thank you very much if you have any comments anything you can email me at awesome at gmail.com thank you very much